I'm just going to show you now how to, once you're kind of happy with your footage, okay, how to get your footage out of here, edit it, and add some audio to it, okay? You can, you can add audio within um, Stop Motion Pro, but it's a little bit clunky, so um, you're better off kind of not. So the first thing you want to do is export this once you're happy with it, okay? So fairly easy, just make a movie out of it. Um, make it an ABI that's compressed. Okay, you've got a few other options, but that's going to be the best one, again, for these computers. That's kind of what we have to do. Um, and then just export it. Um, save it in your Dropbox. Okay, always save everything into your Dropbox, just in case, again, you move computers or something. I'll, I, can, I can check it out. So it'll only take, I don't know, a minute. It'll export it. It'll put all the frames together. Uh, again, here's your frame rate. So if you want to change that before you export it, again, more frames a second, the faster it will run, the more frames we use, but the clearer and kind of more, um, the, uh, the better it'll kind of look. So once we've exported that, okay, we're done. You want to open up Movie Maker. Now, you'll get this problem on these computers. Uh, thanks to Finn, the only way to fix it is to plug in your headphones because it's basically, it needs to say, all right, I need to know, I need to know there's speakers here to work. So once you plug your headphones in, uh, try and open it again, it'll work. Okay, yeah. um, I'll just get rid of these. Cool. Once you've done that, you need to import the footage. So you go into import video, okay? Find your video, there it is there, and import it. And then it'll bring it in. Again, Windows Movie Maker, not the best program in the world, but it's the one that's on these machines at the moment, so it'll, it'll do the job. Um, what it'll do too is it'll, sometime, it'll split your clip up, um, but don't worry about that. And then you just drag it in here. And there's your clip ready to go, okay? Uh, in one second, Will. Um, there's your clip there. Because this is a video editing program, you can now go in if you want to and you can add other frames, you can add other video. So if you wanted to cut somewhere in your stop motion and have a video of something else, you can just drop that in here. You can drop photos in here, you can drop overlays. So you can actually add a little bit more to your animation too. Um, I know some of you guys were doing filming with computer screens. You know, you could have filmed Pac-Man, for instance, um, as a video and then place that in this video editor on that screen and it would have saved you a bit of time. You, know, you can do stuff like that. Um, so there's video. Uh, same deal. So put your music in here. All right. So if we go into import audio or music, you can find your music. I'm going to import that. And then you drag it into your music channel. And there it is there. Again, you can trim this to wherever you want it. If there's a certain part of that track you want, just trim it to where you want it to go and drag that there. And finally, you've got another audio channel here for your sound effects. So if we play this back, um, you probably can't hear it, obviously, but uh, it'll be playing that music back, and that's it. So if you want to go in and have the sound of that chain moving, have the jumping sound, having explosions, just find those sounds or record them yourself. Record an explosion, import that as a video, as an audio, and then drop it you know, in the right spot here. Uh, that was, I don't know why they did that. Um, drop it in the right spot here. Okay, and that's it. And then you're done and you can export that and there's your final clip.